Frank Warden, we're going to call his first time in the tent meeting this year, but he's been so faithful. I got to let him speak. All the way from Jamaica, my friend, brother, brother Hyrule Smart. I'm your Mako West Indies. Give Jesus a hand. As he come up and give us a good 15 minutes and a minute. Give God a big hand. Make it feel right. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise tonight. Come on, somebody give God praise tonight. Come on, somebody worship Him tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God, He's worthy to be praised. I have 15 minutes to share the word. Tonight, I want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus, Pastor Hamilton, Hamilton Pastor. And you know what, God, God just has been good. All the ministers here, Pastor Summit has been like, even though we have just met the other day, but like a father. And we give God praise. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. Let us get in the word of God. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles with you tonight, turn with me to Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel chapter 37. In the meantime, as you find me, give say thanks to you all for allowing me to feel at home amen? amen glory to God Ezekiel chapter 37 since I don't have much time I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 5 and we're going to jump over to verse 10 the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and he shall live. Verse 10. So I prophesied as he commanded me and as the breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army and he said unto me son of man these bones are the whole house of Israel behold they say our bones are dried and our hope is lost we are cut off from our parts. So verse 12, therefore prophesy and said unto them, thus saith the Lord God, behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. Clap your hands and give God a praise. It is so amazing. So we can read the scripture at once and we can go and read the same scripture over again and God begin to give us new revelation from the same passage of scripture. Amen. As I read the scripture, God begins to minister to me and he says, this is a revival in the valley. A revival in the valley. Uh, when I look at the word revival, it means spiritual awakening. Yeah. When I look at the word valley, the valley means a low place. How oh, many of you have been to that place where it was very low and it seems as if no hope was there, but God brings forth a revival. Many of us have reached to the point where all hope was lost and by one prayer, God brings forth a mighty revival. Many times our backs were against the wall and God brings forth a revival. 
worship. The Bible allows us to understand that the Pharaoh that was there died and Joseph also died. And a new Pharaoh arose that knew nothing about Joseph. The Bible says that this Pharaoh when he saw the children of Israel prospering in his sight, he said this can't work and he put them under bondage. They begin to work as slaves but the children of Israel they cried unto God and the Bible said the Lord heard them. The Bible also allows us to understand that God sent Moses into Egypt to deliver the children of Israel. Well, as Moses went to Egypt, he had some difficult times, but yet still he did God's work. And so it reached the point where the children of Israel were released from Egypt. But while they were on their way to the promised land, many times we are in church rejoicing while the devil is planning. But the more he plans, the more we're going to pray for the revival. The more he plans, the more God is working it out. And so the children of Israel are on their way. And here comes Pharaoh and his army behind them. But yet still God was in control. When the enemy is fighting, God is in control. Amen. And so the children of Israel, they reached the point where the Red Sea was before them. They had mountains on each side. And here comes the army behind them. And God said to Moses, what is that? in your hand and Moses said God I only have a rod and God said to Moses stretch it out as Moses stretched forth his rod the Bible said the sea parted and the children of Israel they were over and dry land it was the same children of Israel that God allowed the Red Sea to part before them the same children of Israel when they were thirsty God gave them water to drink the same children of Israel when they were hungry God allowed manna to fall the Bible said that God was a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night the children of Israel, they saw the hand of God over and over and over again. God was with the children of Israel in every aspect of their walk. Because God was with them when they defeated the Canaanite. God was with them when they defeated the Amorite. God was with them when they defeated the Hamatite. God was with them when they defeated the Parasite. And the same children of Israel, the Bible allows us to understand that they found themselves at a place where the Bible said that they were nothing but dry bones. So God said to Ezekiel, Son of man, can these bones live? Yeah. Ezekiel begins to ponder because he knows that he was a God that specialized in things that seemed impossible. So Ezekiel said, God, thou knowest. Amen. God said to Ezekiel, prophesy. In spite of how the bones may look in the valley, just prophesy. In spite of the fact that the bones may be dry without juice or substance, just prophesy. Many of us have reached the point in our life where it seems as if there is no juice left in us, but just prophesy. All it needs is a word of prophecy. When it seems as if we can't find our way out, just prophesy. When our daughters are hooked on prostitution, just prophesy. When our sons are hooked on drugs and cocaine, just prophesy. All it need is a word of prophecy. God said, prophesy. When we find that our community has become corrupt, God is just saying to the church, just prophesy. Just, just prophesy. In spite of how the devil may be raging, just prophesy. In spite of how it seems hopeless, just prophesy. Hallelujah. So the Bible says, Ezekiel begins to prophesy. And as he prophesied, the Bible says, that bone became to its own bone. It doesn't matter what we are going through or how it seems when we begin to serve God and trust God. 
then all things that seems impossible become possible. It doesn't matter what the devil try in our life when God in our vessel. We can smile at the storm. We serve a God who specializes in things that seems impossible. The psalmist said, hey, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. He said, thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. He said, my cup run it over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The songwriter said, no matter what storm clouds may rock the ship of mine, the light of my Savior will lead me safely through the night. The scripture part that is given that I love. In verse 12, it says, Oh, my people, I will open your graves. I will open your graves. Many persons here walking about on the street, they are buried. They are walking around, but they have been buried. But God is saying tonight, I am ready to bring forth a revival in the valley. I don't care how dry your bones may be. I don't care how dry you are. I am ready to bring forth a revival in your valley. The sun in the valley. He restore it. My soul. Jesus lead me beside still waters. God is ready to open your grave. Clap your hands and give God praise to so open the grave, Lord. Open the grave. Open the grave. Open the grave. The prayers that are buried. Open. There are some family members that have been buried. So open their graves, Lord. There are some friends that have been buried. So open their graves, Lord. Come on, we have some co-workers that have been buried. So open their graves, Lord. We have some brothers and sisters in the church that are buried. So open their graves, Lord. Clap your hands and give God a praise. Lord, the praise. 